What's up, you guys? So, another perfect game challenge. Here we go. So, the Atlanta Braves are the person that someone commented and said, Hey, yo, bruh, you see the Atlanta Braves? I'm like, I feel sick. Oh, you see the Atlanta Braves? Difficulty 7, we're going up against Chicago Cubs. One thing that I do want to mention, you guys, is the MLB today, in this game at least, now I know about the show, because they both have similar things, basically. They, up, they say it, they update themselves every day. I can say this about this game because I don't know about the show, but in this game, it's trash. The starting pitchers aren't the right starting pitchers. They decide to take out some starting pitchers, but not some other starting pitchers. For example, the other day, they kept in Justin Verlander for a span of about four days, something like that, for the whole series, but they took out Giovanni Gallardo and gave the Brewer fans Kyle Loesch instead to pitch with for the whole series. So it's kind of a little bit weird that way, um, and I'm not sure why that happens. It's stupid. So, um, Oh, big shout-out to Chandler and Charlie. Chandler has now pitched three perfect games. Uh absolute beast man are you kidding me three perfect games you go to the leaderboard you'll see his name there um charlie told me that he hit that he uh, was able to complete the perfect game as well man that's insane absolutely insane so here we go again it's my turn right so the braves versus the cubs starting off with the curveball inside takes that one in the chicago cubs lineup they're really the only, there, there's a couple people in this lineup that I'm worried about. Anthony Rizzo, the um, Italian sausage. Ooh, man. Ooh, that was close. The Italian sausage, Anthony Rizzo. And then, uh, maybe I should never call him that again. And then the, uh, and then Soriano has the ability to just pop one out of the park and that can mess things up. As well as Sterling Castro. Um, Sterling Castro. So, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how how I'm really um, able to do this. What is he bad at? See, this guy, he's not really sliders, not very good, but it's going to be interesting to see how I pitch these guys, um, especially with someone who doesn't really have that much that much uh, command or power behind his stuff. I mean, someone couldn't say, hey, use the Braves when Tim Hudson was pitching. No, 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 let's use this terror hand. Tight, though. All right, so uh, we're falling behind. We don't want to fall behind. I need to throw a strike here, unfortunately. Ooh, got to buy him. Got to buy him. All right, so now with two and one, one thing that I have noticed as I'm going to try to uh, change up a way, one thing I have noticed is uh, the pitching, like if you're like a real pitcher in real life, you will be able to pitch a perfect game pretty easily. Uh, the pitching is pretty, pretty um, similar to how you would pitch a real game, Ooh, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, I'm not a pitcher in real life, and maybe Chandler and Charlie are. Um, but I, I mean, I'm not. Gonna try one inside of the Italian sausage. Italian sausage. Oh man, I'm like, dude, why are you calling him that? I'm like, I don't know, man. I mean, he needs some type of nickname. Mr. Rizzo, the Rizzy, the, the Rizzio. Rizzio. That sounds kind of cool. Now up to the plate, Mr. Rizzio. Simmons, don't throw us away. Perfect. All right, so we got 3-1. Uh, one thing I can say is they're going to swing the pitches inside in, in the strike zone. So I definitely just need to go out of the strike zone. But at the same time, we got through the first um, hitters that I'm really scared of contact. So now I can really go out of the strike zone. And hopefully they'll chase some. All right, so here comes Mr. Simmons. 57 power, 57 contact. And that was um, crazy. So I, I've, I've been playing um, the franchise because I'm trying to get that video out. And the all-star difficulty is definitely not this. Um, the, the ball comes so fast in that that I really just have to adjust my timing. Um, in terms of, like, offense... See that? Like, that was, like, the slowest pitch ever. In terms of offense, I'm not really worried about offense. I'm going to swing at every pitch that I see, and hopefully I hit get a home run. Because at the end of the day, I think that the difficulty is pro, but I'm not exactly sure if that's correct. And if it is, that's freaking sad how I can't do a, a, a perfect game on pro. God, maybe I should not swing the pitches, though, because 
You never know what can happen. Maybe they will just keep throwing pictures out of his own. Like, yo, man, this living dude is just like... Woo! There we go. All right, so now we have a lead. Uh, Hayward goes deep. The rookie sensation, Jay Hay. Hey, Jay. Ooh, you guys. <laughs> making nicknames for everyone. Hey, Jay. Uh, goes deep with this one. As you see, the Go Braves um, bottle blowing up up there. So we have a one nothing lead, and that's really, like I said, all we need because if I do pitch a perfect game, I only need a one-run lead because they will not be able to score a run. Justin Upton, this guy is power. The most awkward thing, I would think, would be for one of the Upton brothers to do better than the other and the one of them get benched or demoted. That would be so embarrassing. You know what I mean? Because before, when you're on different teams, you don't really know what's going on. You kind of like call, call, call each other up, but you're not really there in person. But if one of them just goes off and the other one is not doing so hot, you're going to be like... Yo, man, uh, your brother kind of sucks. We're going to have to demote him to AAA. We'll be like, oh, man, no way. Now I got to, you know, deal with him even more. That could be so embarrassing. So it may put pressure on them to, to one-up each other. Brother rivalry is um, probably one of the... It's ooh, ooh, ooh. Probably one of the um, biggest like rivalries you can have. And sister rivalry is more vicious, I guess, you know. And I don't have any sisters. Um... I only have a brother, but I know that in terms of brothers, uh, rivalry is so intense. Like, you always want to do it better than the other person, but it's never malicious, you know? Like, it's not like you uh, play him in FIFA and you blow him out by, like, five goals, and then the guy's like, man, fuck you, and then he hit, oh, language, and then he, like, socks you a new one, you know? Nothing like that. It's just like, I want to be better than you. And I don't know this about women, um, but uh, in terms of like sister rivalry, it's more like, yo, what are you doing with those heels? Those are my heels. And then the other one's like, what do you mean? I'm just borrowing the heels. No, you're not, because I have a big date today. No, well, I'm getting those heels. It's more, you know, like, like, uh, like that stuff. As uh, up and get there. Nice. All right, so we're... we're Four outs already, which is pretty cool, but they're hitting the ball, which I don't like. I don't like them hitting the ball because then I really have to rely on my defense, and an air can mess this up um, as Nate Sherholtz comes to the plate. He's not very good at sliders. He's good at curveballs, and you want me to throw him a curveball. Some, some, sometimes I kind of feel like they're trying to mess me up. You know, the they're like, hey, living, um, why don't you throw a fastball right down the middle and see if he hits it? Um, because you're kind of like, we don't want you to get a perfect game. Stupid. Alright, so change up is his best pitch, but this guy actually, surprisingly, 313 versus right handed pitchers overall, 157. He's not that bad at change-ups versus right-handed pitchers. Um, I'm going to try to throw it like on the edge of the zone. Alright, so now we got two strikes. Um, now that I went soft low, um, they want me to go soft low again. I'll try it. I got a pitch to, to, to waste. So I'll try to throw a change-up outside the zone low. See if he changes it. He does. Thank you very much for coming, bruh. You're done. So, moving on. Who's next? Who who, who else wants this? From Terra Hand. Luis Valbuena. And it just seems like there's always that 58 contact. See, this is the situations where I'm like, you know, should I just throw him strikes so that he can hit it because his contact isn't very good? Or, or, do I see if he chases stuff? Because... In terms of contact, that he isn't very good, but anyone can just do a bloop single, you know what I mean? So it's like, eh, do I really, really want to take that risk? One thing that has worked for me is the two seamers up here. They usually don't swing at that, or they usually miss miss it. Um, now, if someone were to have like a, a cut fastball that goes the other way, you can go inside, like always right inside by their chin is um, a really good place to throw those pitches. All right, so I went high and hard up. So let's try a change up away. The one two on its way. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right side. Good. We're gonna get out of this one. And nice. All it. right. So um, two winnings down. You know, hopefully I can get past the fourth. 
because that was freaking embarrassing. Um, people, I mean, it, it, it was like, I was like, man, should I really put this up? Because now people are going to think that I suck. But then I remembered that you guys uh, have seen me do the Let's Plays, and you guys know that I suck. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Beavis, or butthead. All right, BJ Upton. If there was going to be one brother that didn't do well, I would assume, I would guess it would be this guy. Um, just because he swings that more pitches out of the zone, you know, he's seen, I mean, that, that leg kick is always going to hurt him, I think. Um, so, it's going to be interesting. All right, here we go. Danny Boy. Mr. Ugg. The Ugly Ugg. Ugly Ugly Ugg. Take that pitch. Um... I wonder if he ever, like, he must have gotten teased mercilessly. Mercilessly? You know what I mean. In high school. Because when you have a name like Ugla, people can... Ooh, man, he got into that one. People can, like, say, hey, yo, Mr. Ugly Ugla. You know what I mean? Or, um, oh, look, it's 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 Mrs. Ugly Ugla. Or, um, ug Ugly Ugla. Ugla. Agula. It's early in the morning, so my brain isn't really working correctly. But you know what I mean. Like, there's always that, that, uh, who does this guy think he is? What kind of picture is that? You know? Yo, I'm Mr. Cool, cool hat wearing to the side man, Juan Francisco. I don't like you just for that picture, bro. Like, this is supposed to be professionalism. This is supposed to be coming out. This is supposed to be a, uh, a, a role model of kids. And you're going out there wearing that hat sideways, looking like you're some type of thug. Now this guy, I'm really worried about. I mentioned it at the beginning. Just because he seems like a guy who could mess things up. So I'm not going to give him any pitches to hit. Hopefully he can swing at a pitch outside of the zone. But now I'm behind 1-0. So I need to get a strike to get back ahead again. He wants me to throw a curveball. What is this guy even bad at? He's bad at curveballs. He's bad at change-ups. Let's throw a change-up right here in his blue zone. If he hits it, hopefully he doesn't hit it hard. He doesn't. Simmons gets there. Easy throw, make the play, good job. So Castillo's done doing the little 2K spin. Upcoming games, Atlanta will travel to Miami. <laughs> That's one thing. Uh, like I said in my review, the commentary in this game is a lot better. Um, they're, they're not like, you know, uh, it's not like they pre -record. It doesn't sound, obviously they did pre-record the, the names, but they did it in, in a very good way. It's not like... You know, Dan Ugla is now going to the Braves. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like Dan Ugla going to the Braves, you know. So it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's that, um, that hard of a thing. All right, so now, um, what is this guy bad at? I'm thinking about throwing him a changeup. That's actually not a bad idea. Or a curveball. I don't want to throw a fastball. He wants me to throw a fastball. I am up 0-2. So maybe I'll throw one, um, like, high right in his chin music here. Give him a Shawn Michaels. Ooh, we got him. Nice. All right, so we uh, we got him. So now we have to go up against the pitcher. Now, as I mentioned before, the pitcher is really the guy who um, I'm kind of thinking that I can test pitches on. And I mean it like this because when you're going up against the top of the lineup, their contact is really, really high usually, and they're contact guys. You know, they're not going to – they're single guys. Um, except for Coco Crisp. Surprisingly, he hit a home run the other day. But uh, these are the pitchers are guys who you can, you know, throw some changes so the computer can start to think that you're um, that, that you're throwing those pitches more than you really are against other pitchers, against other hitters. Um, but at this point, I do want to strike him out, so I'm gonna try a two seamer. If I get ahead in the count, then I'll throw the change up. Swung on and hit Upton. Upton. Nice. All right, so we're through three, you guys. You see the million tag there still in full effect, and we have a one-run lead. So we're exactly as far as we were before. Gerald Laird, Lard. See these names. I'm telling you, man, they got. They must have gotten destroyed in high school. My name didn't really get destroyed in high school um, because uh, I, I went to a high school that was like probably. If I could guess, and like, a hundred people, something like that. It was the smallest high school in the world, so I, uh, there wasn't really a, uh, a group of people who were, like, the mean people, you know? Um, I, I, I was, I guess, 
I, I'm not gonna say that I was making that I was a guy who would like make fun of people because that wasn't me. Um, but like it was more of a you know a, a, a good kind of a group of friends who just hung out together. You know, it, it, there weren't like any real cliques, which which is great. Um, you know, so. So, so yeah, that was cool. No teasing in high school. Really. College is a whole different story, though. You know. Gosh, I was. I, I went to a small college too, but it was a big college for me. It was. Uh, I think it was. Ten. No. Was it like five thousand people? It must have been something like that. I don't know. They they told me over and over again. It shows how much I was listening in college, but. Uh, yeah, it was it, it was it was different. A little bit of a how did I even get on this topic? Back to baseball. All right, so David DeJesus. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty here. Fourth inning, as I mentioned before, the fourth inning is the inning where the computer likes to mess you up. We get this guy, um, Francisco. I thought he. I thought you was gonna mess me up there. You guys know what I'm saying. When crazy things happen. Happen. All right. So Sterling Castro. These, the, I mean, it's so nerve-wracking to play uh, to, to do this mode because it's like one hit can destroy everything that you work towards. Um, I really don't want to pitch that pitch. <laughs> Oh man. The pitch. No, oh, man. Every time he swings, I'm scared. 300 people, I heard, have uh, pitched the perfect game. That's insane, you guys. Like, that's freaking insane. Like, where, you know, if someone. Towards the middle. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. Ah, if someone wants to pitch a perfect game and then give me the code, then that would be cool, you know? I won't say no to that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, that's it, unfortunately. Uh, we can't get past the fourth inning. It's crazy. Next Sunday. No, this Sunday? Tomorrow. I will be doing a live stream on Twitch of the perfect game. And uh, that will be starting at... 3 o'clock Central Time. So 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And I think that's like whatever it is Pacific Time. 2 o'clock Pacific Time, I think. No, 3, 1 o'clock Pacific Time. I don't know. Ask Dawkins. He lives over there. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be playing Perfect Game Challenge. The link for the Twitch account is down below. And it's just going to be me playing, you know, um, the Perfect Game Challenge. Seeing what we can do. Trying out different teams. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Gallardo should be in there by then. So that's a guy that I definitely want to do it with. Um, yeah, because I, I, I was trying to live stream, and I want to apologize again for that, you guys. Uh, if kind of if you guys thought that I was like spamming your sub box, I wasn't trying to. I was really trying to do a uh, opening day to have a live stream so I could talk about it. But YouTube is just crazy, crazy bad for that. I, or maybe I just don't understand how it works. So because of that, I figured that I'd just go with Twitch, and Twitch worked out pretty well. So. That is where the live stream is going to be happening. You guys can stop by. I'll be there for, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just play it by year. So, all right. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, click the annotation in the corner of the videos to watch any other videos, the franchise series or the My Player series or the first video in this perfect game challenge series. Um, we're almost 900. So, thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do. And uh, someone said that I should do a uh, stealing, uh, base stealing tip video so that may be in the works as well check out my other channel living me loaded okay i'm done just blabbering on <laughs>